to the Archaic Talk Show. I hope you enjoyed that commercial. I'm not really sure what it was. Drew had some fun with whatever commercials they have. Let's get on to the fourth question. Where were you after the American Revolution ended? Well, okay. I was having another portrait being painted by Gene Ante Hudson because he is the most known for painting ambassadors to France, anyone, basically. Yeah. So I was having a second one done, and I really was hoping I wouldn't have to get another one, but the secretary said, you're having another one done? Okay. So I really have no place to put it. So like you had one painting in your hallway, but then you got a second one, you're like, do I put it like opposite? Or do I put one at this end of the hall and one at this end of the hall? You, you just don't know. Or do know. I put one on the other side just because it's the second term? Yeah. I have no clue. You don't know. Do you like have one wall full of paintings? Uh, yeah. How about you, James? Well, actually, now that I think about it, I think I was dead. Oh, you were dead? Yes. I hope you get better. That, that doesn't sound too good. Well, number five, what battles did you participate in, if any? I feel like this is going to be a, a John-dominated area. You know, James, I'm sorry, but I, I think John did more. Um, well, if I remember this right... I was engaged by the British ship Countess of Saraboa. Uh -huh. It took a while. Basically, it was basically in the same spot that Serapis was. Uh, okay. It wasn't in. It wasn't an in Ireland ship. It was a British. Main but British. It was a main. It was a British. British Galleon. A, it basically was. It was loaded. It oh. was loaded with everything. Okay, so like a big galleon? It was loaded, uh, yes. Uh, okay. It probably was a galleon, I bet. Because it was huge and had cannons more cannons just... than we had, I can tell you that. <laughs> cannons loaded on all sides. It took a while. I had a... We got hit by a few cannonballs. Mm -hmm. Took a few boards, but we were able to patch it in. Yeah, you know, j just a couple. Yeah, just a few. Yeah. So then, after, it took a while, but we were able to destroy that one too. We had the whole fleet there. We were all in the line, so yeah. we decided to use one of the British tactics that they use on land. Yeah. Go in a line. Mm -hmm. Spread out. And then spray. And then just spray the cannonballs. Spray that that shit. Uh -huh. James, what about you? Did you do any fighting? No, actually, I didn't. No? You are fighting on the law? The yes, yeah. fighting by law. Mm-hmm. Well, all right, John. Uh, number six. In terms of questions, what did you do after the war? Because I feel like you died before the war ended. Is that true? A little bit. <laughs> mm. Well, don't, don't answer how you died yet. That's not today's question. What did you do after the war? Well, Arkea, I was writing a letter to Benjamin Franklin, actually. Oh. Well, I, was, okay. I was told by the Order of Cincinnati to write a letter to Ben Franklin mm -hmm. because they wanted him back to the colonies. Because yeah. for some reason, I have no clue why that was classified information at that you time. You just kind of were told, write a letter. I was told, write a letter to get back here. Yeah. And I also added a few things because Big Ben Franklin fan, can't lie. Yeah. I had to tell him this, but I support him with everything he says, does, almost everything. Mm -hmm. Almost I, everything. Almost everything. Some things he can be a bit out of line, but most of them... Like picking his nose, you don't support that. <laughs> no, I really don't. No gold digging here. Well, anything else? Or you good? Not that I can remember. Okay, number seven. Uh, how did you guys die? You know. Well, I now, think I don't. Know. Don't be afraid to go all out with the details. I want to hear it. They're fine. The crew. I mean, they're fine with it too. Well, okay. Yeah. I think this is gonna put a chuckle on your face. I mean, I think that's my little chuckle <coughs> show. Mm -hmm. Well, she got cooked by lightning. Lightning. Yes, lightning. Boom! Yes. Oh, so like fried. Fried. Crispy James. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, John. Um, I died of an arrhythmia, mm -hmm. which is an irregular heartbeat that caused my heart to either be too fast or too slow. But if it was too fast, it would put me in shock, actually. And, yeah. you know. Shock can't too good. No, shock's not that good. And if it was too slow, I'd be sluggish. Mm -hmm. I might be vomiting because it's 
going too slow. My father used to have it. Oh, really? This is a true story. My father used to have it. Mm -hmm. But somehow he took, actually, it wasn't arrhythmia. It was more anxiety than everything. More anxiety than anything? Yeah, because... Well, they both begin with A's, so... Yeah. You know. It's anxiety, yes. Okay. So. Well, James, arrhythmia, new word. New word for some of the crew, too. Yeah, they're shaking their heads. Um, James, I don't think you should really ever go outside again. Unless you want to be called the extra crispy James, Otis. Don't think you should go back outside. Well, we'll move on to the new segment of the Archaic Talk Show after this brief commercial break. <laughs> 